What's going on, guys? How are y'all today? It's Steve and Susanna. We are doing something super cool, super exciting today, yep. this evening. We're out at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. We are going to Chico. One of our all time favorite Disney restaurants. Best, uh, one of hands down, one of the best filets, I would say steak wise. I don't know that we're doing steaks tonight because we're actually doing the Lion King prefix menu, the little Lion King special dinner. The Chico has been doing for the last couple of weeks, I guess. So uh, we're doing the prefix. We're actually meeting Troy and Angelina over here for dinner. So we are walking into the animal kingdom as we speak. Come along with us. Let's go eat Jico. Let's go have some Lion King dinner. All right, guys, we'll see you in a minute. Inside of Chico, we've been seated. We've already placed our food orders, but I want to go ahead and show you guys the menu. So let's take a look at the menu. All right. Now, when we take a look at the menu for Chico, let's keep in mind that they do have the Circle of Life prefix menu still going on. Now, our server informed us because they're doing that. The regular menu has been shortened up just a little bit. Like one of the things I notice it's missing is the charcuterie board. But anyway, let's take a look at the appetizers. They have North African spice scallops grilled wild boar tenderloin which our server highly recommended and that is something that I ended up going with so yeah we got that coming out the table coming from the cooking place let's see what is that Ing Ingude Tibbs in Brick it says it's mushrooms spinach cheese and a crispy phyllo dough apple Bellingham I can I can almost imagine that looks like something like like a cheese Greek pastry um, there's a mushroom flatbread there's a something, let's see, there's a taste of Africa, which looks like it's their, um, I would call that almost like their bread service. They do have the enhancements to add to any of your meals. You can get the, you can get the world famous Animal Kingdom Lodge, Jico Boba Thai Mac and Cheese. And I feel like they have Boba Thai at Boma too. Some of the, I think some of the other Animal Kingdom, yeah, they have Boba Thai. I don't know that it's Mac and Cheese, it's just Boba Thai at Boma. Um, but you can add... You can add boba. It's like a like an African sausage, I believe. It's like a sausage. It's good. It's good. You can add a four ounce lobster tail, coconut curry shrimp. Here are the entrees. So let's take a look at the entrees now. There's peri peri chicken. There's an oak grilled filet, and that's what I got. I know I said outside that I was going to be doing the Lion King um, Circle of Life deal, but you know what? I really wanted to try their filet, and I've kind of been on the filet kick anyway, doing the filets at Yachtsman and the filet at Flying Fish. I don't know. We've had I feel like we've had filets more in the last six weeks than I've ever had in my life. But anyway, we're going to do the oak grilled filet. So let's talk about the Circle of Life. The Circle of Life is $65 per person, and that is the prefix option, and you can do your standard wine pairing for $22 or your deluxe wine pairing for $29. I just can't wait to be king is the appetizer. It has clams with appetizer, huh? Oh, yeah, I didn't notice that. Cedar Creek clams. Okay. Okay. We'll take a look at it. It's going to be coming in a minute. So we got the clams coming on that. Potatoes, pomegranate, the bone marrow, which is the goods. And then you can see the wine pairings that go along with the appetizer. Be prepared. There's the boneyard. Now that's the bone in ribeye. And those are the wine pairings, standard deluxe. And then single hill 
whole, that is the seafood option, which is a lobster, red shrimp, squid, mussels, a fragrant rice, cape, Malay curry, and then there's the standard and the deluxe wine pairing. And then of course you're gonna get your Hakuna Matata dessert, which looks like it's caramelized orange, chocolate, some type of chocolate sh show. And then there are your wine pairings with your desserts. It looks like, you, do you get one, uh, tea and stuff with that when you're done? It looks like, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the gift. All right, well, we're just waiting for everything to come on out. All right, so you went with the bone-in ribeye, right? I did. But everybody at the table has gone, including Susanna, yep. <laughs> has gone with the, uh, the bone-in ribeye, circle of life. The only person that went with something different is myself, which is gonna be the filet. But um, yeah, let's see what comes on out to the table. I'm excited. Yeah, you know, we've been doing like, I feel like the filet challenge, it's been about a year since I've had the filet here at Gico, and the last time I had it, it quite possibly was the best filet I've ever had. So I'm really now curious to compare it to recently doing the two filets at the Yachtsman and the one filet at Flying Fish. One thing I did want to mention too is, Gico is famous for their macaroni and cheese. It is the most flavorful, it's, a, it's four cheese, right? Yeah, she said four cheese mac cheese. Um, it's got the breadcrumbs on top. It is so, so, so good. And it used to come with the filet, but it doesn't come with the filet anymore. Yeah, but what you can do though, is you can request and sub in the mac and cheese. And I super, super highly recommend you should sub in the mac and cheese. Now, it won't be boba thai mac and cheese, it'll just be the regular mac and cheese. But anyway, it's on the way, so we'll see you guys once the food gets here. All right, guys. Well, the house bread has arrived on the table. This is a um, sweet potato bread with, I guess, like, is it, it's not sesame seeds, is it? No, no, what kind of seed that is. But, um, and it, you said it's maple butter? Yeah, maple butter. Well, there's only one way to find out what kind of seed it is, and let's just taste it. Almost looks like aniseed or something, right? But it's not. Definitely tastes like sweet potato, right? Yeah, definitely, absolutely tastes like sweet potato. You know, the maple butter, it's not that sweet though. I was expecting like a sweeter butter, but it's its pretty neutral really. If you didn't tell me it was maple, let me try it again. Yeah, if you didn't, if you didn't tell me that, that was maple, I wouldn't know. Ah. Thank you so much. Yum, yum, yum. Oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> the clams, the little neck clams. Oh wow. Yeah. It smells good. It's called strong. This is potato here. This is potato on the yeah. side? Mm -hmm. It's like the uh, pride rock from the movie. And here's the wild boar with the shakalaka. I've never had wild boar. I've never had boar, I don't think. First time. So this is the wild boar with mealy pep shakalaka herb smoked oil. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. But you know what? There's only one way to find out, and that's to eat it. Let's eat it. It's hard for me to get out though. Let's see how to cut into that. Never had wild boar. Never had boar in general. We're gonna taste it though. What do I have? Oh. Wild boar mm. 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 In Italy. Wow. That is very good. It's tender. The seasoning. Try it. Here. Here. Tell me what you think of that. Yeah, let's see what the white stuff is. It's like, pota it's like a potato or something, like green. It's like a green. The white stuff's like green. How it tastes. This is to me. Good. You just grab the flavor of it though. That's a tough one, right? It's not overly seasoned, it's not overly powerful. It's the meat, you taste the meat, the flavor of the, it's not gamey or anything, no. It's very good. Okay, so this, I don't know how to describe. This is like a, uh, I don't know, like a, it's like a grain or something. I, is that the, sh I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to describe it, but this is like a tomato broth that it's in. It's um very good. Uh, let's do yours. Now, uh, can I try one clam? Yeah. Now here is the, what was the name of this on the menu? They call this the, the appetizers. The, <laughs> well, I can say this, it looks like Pride Rock. Here are the little clams. Mm. With the, it's got the, mm. nice garlicky, nice and tender. 
not dry, it's very good clam, steamed good. And then it's got little pieces of pomegranate floating in there. Honey, you know how much you love pomegranate. Yeah. I give you one. Pomegranate, it's like the food, it's the fruit of Armenia, really. It's funny. Mm. And then this is the marrow. And I'm not this is let's see, from here I'll taste the marrow. Okay. Mm. It's good. I don't know, it's uh, it's garlicky. It's very oily, right? It, well, it's in olive oil or that's just the fat you think? It's not extra oil added to it? It might yeah. be. We did get the wine pairings with ours. Yours has the wine pairings, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, honey. It's very good. Eat it. Guys, it's, if you like bone marrow, you're going to enjoy that. It's very garlicky. If you like garlic, you're going to love the clams. You're going to love the bone marrow. So, so just to back myself up, make sure I said this correctly the first time. So this all is considered chocolate, huh? And the white stuff is mealy pop. It's like polenta. Polenta, right? That's how she described it. Okay. Well, the whole thing, the whole thing is chocolate, and then the white stuff is um, now I forgot mealy pop, which is what polenta, right? It's like a polenta. Okay. Apparently, this is like a true like it's a true African dish, minus the meat. I think she was saying a lot of times they won't have the meat in it, but whatever. I'm gonna say this right now. It's awesome. It's really good. She did a great job at recommending you get this. I'm enjoying it. How you guys liking your bone marrow? Well, I'm eating good. Now. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's keep on eating, guys. And uh, we'll catch you guys when the entrees arrive. All right, guys. The food is here. The fillets have come. Bone in ribeyes are on the table. Doesn't that look nice? All right. Now, like I said, it's been about a year since I've had this fillet. The last time I had it, it was by far the best one I've ever had. And I'm hoping that it's going to live up to my expectations. Ask for it medium. You get a better cut into the center. I want to see that it's cooked medium. Which it is. Definitely cooked medium. Look at that. Looks great. Alright. Here we go. Filet is good. Is that medium? It's tender. Juicy. Cooked correctly. I'm not gonna lie. Though. The filet of the Osmond's better. It's a bit it's a better filet. The filet of the Osmond's better. Yeah, it, it's got a little bit more seasoning, I think. But but it's good. It's a good piece of meat. It's nice, it's it's tender. I'm gonna you know get in on it a little bit more and try to soak it all up a little bit, but initial um, observation is it's not quite at the level of the flying fish or the filet over at the uh, yachtsman but we'll, we'll eat more of it and get in there here's the famous mac and cheese mm. it's very good but i'm not gonna lie this is good i gotta be honest mac and cheese is uh, it's yachtsman mm -hmm. Let's try this fresh asparagus too. Y'all come with the asparagus? No, y'all didn't get the asparagus. Mm. So good. Okay, now let's get to the interesting stuff over here. So, this is the bone in ribeye. Um, yours is cooked well done. Did you cut into it yet? Let's cut into it to make sure it's cooked well done. Cool. Cut right here. Looks like it's well done. Oh yeah, yeah, it's well done. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take just a small taste of this. How are you guys like it? Like it? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. It's a good piece of meat. Very good piece of meat. Even good, well done. It's very good. So tender. And then what is this? This is like the pasta. Yeah. What was the name of it though? Um, I have to look. Oh. Almost has like a like a vinaigrette on it or something. Olive oil? Is that olive oil? Tomatoes are really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tomatoes are good. Okay. Yeah. Tomatoes. 
like it? No, no, that was my you like it? Oh, very much. All right, let's see. Let's try. Let's try the tomato, huh? Looks like it's got the olive oil on it too. That's a strong vinaigrette. That's a strong flavor. Oh my god. Wow. Very good. Most people, when they order their four cheese macaroni here, they ask for this red wine reduction that they add to the mac and cheese. Let's taste it. We'll taste that. Mmm. It gives it like a little bit of like a, a sweet little kick to it. Interesting. Did you put it on? Oh, you put it on all your mac and cheese. I put it on half. Uh huh. Yeah, it's very good. All right, so, that, so everything's everything so far, so far, so good. Let's let me work on this filet a little bit more. Can have like a little bit of a better understanding of what it is compared to the yachtsman and flying fish and the bone in ribeye. Very, very, very good. All right, so the Lion King dessert has come out. Check that out. Now that is white chocolate on top with the scene of. What is that? Simba, Pumba, and Timon. Yeah, and then this is like an orange, how does she, like orange flavored chocolate, right? And then on the bottom is almost a like an eclair type of cream and chocolate. Whatever, let's just try it. Let's just try it. <laughs> like pistachio green, some pineapple. She said, mm. all together. Mm -hmm. It's not sweet. Mm. That's caramel at the bottom. That's the caramelized. Honey. Honey? honey, honey was. It almost tastes. It tastes like caramel toffee bar, like almost oh, like a toffee bar. Caramel. Something's it's caramel. Here, let's read it real quick. Maybe I'm reading something wrong. Something was caramel. Oh, you hold it, sure. I think it is honey. <laughs> it says that it's caramelized orange, caramelized orange, mm -hmm. and then chocolate, like um, orange chocolate. And I don't know, she was saying something about like an eclair. I don't really get like, maybe like the chocolate on the outside, that caramelized yeah, orange. The There's the white chocolate. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's a great dessert. I'm going to enjoy that, honey. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Enjoy, eat it. Well, we just finished up. Meal completed down at Jico. Wanted to kind of just close this one out, give my final review of how Jico was. So. Circle of Life, Lion King dinner, fantastic. I Like I said, you saw, I personally didn't have it. However, Angelina, Troy, and Susanna had it. They all loved it. They loved their bone-in ribeye steak. Said it was fantastic. I tasted it. I thought it was good. Um, <clears throat> the dessert was fantastic. Loved the dessert. Loved the appetizer. All in all, that experience, along with doing the wine pairing that goes along with the Lion King Circle of Life, Prefix, fantastic. I think it's a great way to go. I absolutely think it's a great way to go. <clears throat> now, as for the filet, filet was good. I have now tried a couple different filets on Disney property. Now, I will say, for me personally, it wasn't the best one. It was good. It's a good filet. Um, lacked a little bit of seasoning. I maybe like a little more seasoning, but it was a good filet. Um, I think it was priced right, too, at $49 for the filet. Um, <clears throat> asparagus was very nice, very fresh, nice asparagus. Of course, like you know, like I said, you can swap out the potatoes for that super, super awesome mac and cheese that Jico is famous for, which is what I did. Um, and I did use the red wine reduction on my mac and cheese, and actually ended up using that a little bit on my uh, on my uh, fillet. As I sliced the fillet, I dipped it a little bit of that red wine reduction, gave it a really good taste, actually. So, yeah, all in all, it was a very nice meal. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend you guys coming to do the Lion King Circle of Life prefix menu. Also, by the way, and I don't think I got this on camera, you do get tea as well to take home with you. So you get like a little gift, you get tea. But yeah, all in all, it was a great meal. I enjoyed it. So that's a wrap on this video, guys. Yeah, I wanted to say thank you to all the new subscribers out there. I really, 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 really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, now's a great time to click the little subscribe button down below. Give the bell the old click, a little click on the bell. That way you can be notified every time we upload new videos. Let me know down in the comments. Are you planning on coming to do the Circle of Life prefix menu? Or are you just planning on coming here for a filet? Or have you already had it? And um, just in case if I didn't say this already, it looks like from what my server was saying, our server was saying, they'll be doing the Circle of Life prefix menu for maybe about another month, month and a half. So you definitely still have time to get in on it if you're going to be down here in that time frame. All right, guys. 
Take care. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye.